in the seas cooking with the red 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 coming after you you got a soft bad mystery what you're clocking in with your girl low me welcome back to my channel and today is a story time about a line that should never ever be crossed so let's just get right into the foolery if you do enjoy the video today, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you want to keep update with the updates and uploads on this channel, please hit the bell below. Thank you. But if you, I love my family that's on this, that support me through here, people that know me personally, I think it is awesome. But this story is going to talk about the deed, the down and dirty. And if that is hard for you to consume with me kind of being involved in the story, I don't want to traumatize you. So. You know, you're not obligated to watch this, okay? So I just, that makes me feel weird. Anyway, moving on. So, today's video story time is going to relate to the same family of my first YouTube video. Yes, John, my ex's racist parent. So the man of the hour, we're going to call him John, and John's mom is going to be called Lily, and we're going to name the dad Flag. And if you wonder why flag, just watch the video that I'm gonna leave below or somewhere, one of these little dots that pop up on why his name is flag. But anyway, so let me give you a little backdrop on Lily, flag, and John. Um, Lily and flag, John's parents, they were the type of family where by the time kids, the kids in the family reach 16 or 15, they're kind of like, okay, hey, you got to make a game plan. Like, it's time for you to go soon. Like, I know you're a sophomore in high school, but um, you need a game plan to kind of get out. Like, we don't want you here on your 18th birthday. Like, you will not be in the house. And, which is really sad out loud. But they were, that's, that's just the kind of parents they were. And they were not involved. And I was with John in and out of the years. High school sweethearts, Lily, probably four years after high school, was just very very involved with him unnecessarily involved with him and we would probably break up find you know have a six month gap of not talking to each other and find ourselves back in each other's lives but i saw john throughout the years contacting to family trying to reach out and constantly getting denied and the situation was so tragic and awful that the family did not want nothing to do with it even though they were pretty close to the same situation that he was in and I don't want to exploit all that he was going through so I'm not going to go in big detail but that's the kind of parents they were and they were weird like they didn't they weren't involved but then they were too involved like they were involved in things that they just had no business being involved in and this is why I'm saying this story time because eventually when I began to meet Lily and Flag. Lily, specifically, had a very big interest on me and John's um, intimate life. And this story time is about her trying to convince me to have intimacy, sex, with her son, John, directly. Yeah, how cringeworthy. John was just the type of person where he did not want to get his license, he did not want to get a job, had to push up, had to constantly tug at his teeth just to go apply for any job application, didn't pretty much want to do anything. He saw no ambition for life. And his parents definitely would talk down on him because of that, but would also enable the behavior. So that's their kind of relationship. That's just how it was all around. Just, just, um, <laughs> and I don't know, this can just be a woman thing. This is probably a man thing too. When you're with someone and I wasn't going, I was trying to keep, truly trying to keep my virginity. I wanted to wait till marriage. I truly wanted to do that. And I did do that, but um, John was very particular that, oh yeah. yeah. You know, we can get down, we can do whatever we want. I don't have a job though, and I only have a car, but you have a job, you have a car, so just come on over. And you know, whatever. He was doing the Tinder things before Tinder was even made, okay? And um, I was like, no, you need to get your crap together and I need to get married, but you need to prove for a couple of years that you have your crap stable before that's even put into question. And not to be mentioned, some of my family members just did not approve of him anyway, and I knew I should not have been with him, but it was like that excitement, but then it was a soul tie, I couldn't really let go, and it just made everything really awkward. I feel like it's not good to be with someone. We feel like to sneak around because you know this isn't right, but you can't let it go. 
and you feel like you don't have any type of peace to even bring them around your family, even good family, which I do. But I couldn't really bring them. I couldn't. I didn't feel comfortable having him around my family. But he had nowhere to go, so it wasn't like oh we can just hang out in the Walmart parking lot. Like there was nowhere to go. So he was always at my house, and then he had a thirty-five minute drive to his place, and he literally lived on the other side of the mountain. So anyway, that was John's character at the core. Just a bum. They didn't want to do nothing. So, but he wanted sex. He wanted. He was like, no, let's just, you know, get it. Like, that's, he would do that. Ugh, let's just get it. And like, no, I, no, I don't. I don't. And of course, this created more tension with our relationship because every time I would knock on that little shed door because his situation, his living situation, we lived with his parents. They lived in a space and there was a shed in this space and the separate kind of like housing area it was really tight because he shared it with a washer a dryer a fridge a freezer and then when it got cold he also shared it with a portable heater and he would just lay on the stick piece of wool and these blankets so it was just tight okay very tight so his parents knew when i would come over because we'll just hang out on his bed playing cards just chilling and i you know that probably opened the door for him to ask these questions but they knew when he was they knew when i was over when i was present and i will come hang out in their lot area and go in their going in their home situation what they had going on but it start becoming over time john just kept bringing up comments like oh yeah you said victoria's secret model show like no, but yeah, okay. I was at a job when that show was going on, John. So that's why I didn't see it. But he was sitting things in front of his mom. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Because most boys are just, when Victoria's Secret is discussed, it's like, ooh, they cringe a little bit. He even bring that up with his mom. And him and his mom is really a weird relationship where they can, like, crack sex jokes with each other. Like, if, you know, a certain number was brought up, it was like a ha 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 funny. Like, it was just weird. And I wasn't really a fan of that. I was like, what? Why are we cracking jokes with your mom like this? And the mom, I remember one day I was over at their house and we were literally watching the uh, Marshall. You know, what, what is a TV show with all the army guys like way back in the day? You know, I'm just going to leave the image here if I find it. But we're watching Lily on a phone, like one phone. And John went out to go get something. And the mom was just like, um, you know, what about you and uh and sex? Like, she asked I was a virgin. I was like, well, yes, I am. And she was like, hmm. And just stared at me. It was like, hmm, okay, okay. And just said, okay. And I was like, okay, this is really uncomfortable. Don't want to talk about this with you. Stop it. Get some help. And John eventually left to go to a different state to find opportunities to get his his GED. And he came back. I always told him he, he cheated big surprise because you know i wasn't giving to him but he was really calm when he came back home and i'm like why are you so calm okay let's just fast forward into how the mom got involved so i was working two jobs at the time i believe and john's mom messaged me and she was like hey darling how are you i was like i'm, I'm doing fine and she was like uh can i talked to you about something and i was like yeah like what's what's going on and she was, was like you know i talked with john and um, me and Mr. Flag and had a conversation with him last night and we realized that um, he hasn't gotten sex from you. Like as if it's just something that he deserves to get from me. And I was like, well, no, he has not. And she's like, well, my ex, why? And I'm like, well, to be honest, Miss um, Lily, I think John Focus right now should begin a job, a license and his education. I think that should be his priorities. His priorities should not be sleeping with me. Oh! And she was like, well, can I ask why that is, dear? And I'm like, well, in my opinion, hugs and kisses aren't going to pay his bills whenever he's on his own. And she was like, well, I want you to know that he wants to pull a southern charm on you. That's what she said. He wants to pull his southern charm on you. As if it matters about what state someone's from. If someone is not doing what they need to do, it don't matter if you're from California, New York, Georgia, or Texas. 
Well, crap's just not getting done. It's just not getting done. I don't care if someone trying to pull Southern trauma on me or not. You just need to have a job. I don't. I don't see what. Put Southern charm on you. He wants to flower you. I'm like Miss Miss Lily. He can't afford to buy me flowers from the local store. He he cannot do that. And she was like, I want you to know that I say you're Christian. Trust me, me and Mr. Flag are too. And I want you to know that we still had sex before marriage. Yes, we did. Me and Mr. Flag, and we did. We don't regret it because I loved him. I was like, okay, well. That's great for you guys, not with my situation, but that's great. And she was like, well, I will let you know that. He was supposed to the tribe on you, and I agree, I co-sign, I give him permission, and I want you, I want you to have sex with my son, because you guys are together, he's getting frustrated, and he needs it. That's Lily was, oh man, if I, if, if screenshots were something that was to be able to do, with flip phones. Were screenshots possible with those type of phones? Or like those really cheap Androids? Was it? I don't, no, it was. I feel like I didn't know how to do screenshots though back then. Yeah, and I was just like, okay, well I gotta get to work. It was great talking to you. <laughs> no, not at all. It was, I don't think I ever, have you ever had a conversation when you're texting somebody and you're so upset or so thrown off by the message, you just feel like your hands are shaking and you really can't get you, like, like you just, where you're just puzzled and you're, it takes you a minute to respond back because you're so puzzled by the conversation. That's what was going on there. So then time has passed, about a week. I don't talk to Miss Lily about it because I'm not going to do that. And this is, yes, this is after going back with John after you cheated like an idiot. Just all this, just all, like I was completely really insecure during this time because looking at me now, I would have not stuck around with that. But two weeks has gone by, a couple weeks has gone by, whatever. And she brings it up again. And she was like, I really need you to think about this. You guys are in a community relationship. You're thinking about marriage. I'm like, hold on, who's thinking about marriage? Because this has never been discussed with me. What what little what little situation you guys have going on? Because no one's discussed that with me. And she's just like, I, I think it'll be good for you guys. It will bond you. Why am I having a conversation like this with John's mother? Why? she's telling me this after our text conversation and then once I'm back at her place and she's really trying to convince me more and more like she didn't she did not want to let it go mr. flag over here is just like yeah hmm hmm he, he just there was just no there was just nothing there and I remember asking I remember telling John about it and of course <laughs> big surprise he was like yeah you know I just I know my mom cares for me she cares for us I just think that we should. And I was like, do you not, do you not understand unplanned pregnancies or like you, you just got done cheating. So I don't know what situation you got down there and you don't want to get your license. So I don't really feel like you're going to go get, go to a clinic to see if you're good. And he was just it's like, nah, you're playing around. There's nothing wrong. I, oh, just exhausting. Completely exhausting. And, and <laughs> There's nothing from that. I just said, no, John Wake, we're not having sex. I'm not doing that with you. And I'm definitely not going to do it being forced by your mother. Because what, you guys are going to hand five after we're done? That's disgusting. And yeah, so that, yeah. And that completes that story. And to tell you the truth, now looking back, I don't even know if that was, I'm pretty sure that was the mom because how she was so sure of the conversation when I saw her a week later. After, after we text but then at the same time just how their relationship operated I can literally see them around a phone like talking among each other and then texting me like that's how really close they were and this story time of course is for therapy because I like talking about these things and pushing them out of my mind because I have a habit of thinking of every cringeworthy moment that's ever happened in my life, like right before bed. So I don't go to bed till like 11 o'clock at night. Even though I get in bed like 8.30, I feel like I'm just looking at the ceiling, thinking about every awful cringeworthy that's happened in my life. So this moments like this on my channel really helped me a lot. But also too, um, it is okay if someone that you are in relationship with and you are trying your hardest to stay by their side 
you know, you're trying to help them get their job. You're trying to help them with all this stuff, which I think you should know when to kind of cut that off. They're, being encouraging is great, but forcing yourself to stay and it's keeping you internally stuck, I do not, no, don't do that. But when you're with someone and they're like, yeah, give me, give me that sex, give me that good, you know, I need to be pleased too. But they are not bringing nothing to the relationship because hugs and kisses aren't going to fill the gas tank. Let, let them, let them go and let them figure out themselves because you're not obligated, girl or guy, you're not obligated to give that part of yourself. And the person is like, oh, hey, you're going to drop me off at work, right? Oh, and I got to do overtime, so, you know, don't really go to bed because I'm going to call and I hope that you're up to come pick me up because, you know, I, I don't want to get my license. Where, where are we doing that? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I don't, I don't care what age. This is not just a teenager 20 thing. This is people I see doing in their 40s, 50s, 30s. We just got to know when to stop. People like John, they don't discriminate. It is among every age group, every shade of skin every culture, every religion, they're all over. All Johns are all over, so just be aware. And also too, whoever you're with, make sure that parents aren't crossing a very weird line, especially with sex, because there should be no parent of the person you're with pushing you or bringing your hand in to lie with their child. That is weird and know your worth and know when to say no. So if you do enjoy the video today and this awkward story time that I hope I deliver in a very comical way because that's how I handle um, my emotions, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And thank you so much for clocking in with your girl, Lo. It's time to clock out. Bye.